Okay, pal. They haven't spotted us yet. I'm not gonna let them get you again either. Oh, I like that. Nice resounding vote of confidence. Off ahead, overhanging branches. Hold on, pal. We're gonna lose him in the woods right now. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, that put the brakes on him, didn't it? <laughs> The only thing is, I'll, I'll just keep coming. I'm gonna have to leave you, pal. There are plenty of good people out there. You just gotta make sure you choose the ones you can trust. All right, come on. It's all right. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know, listen to me. I know, listen to me, all right? You're a very special dog, you know that? One of a kind in the whole universe. And you and me, we're, we're pals, aren't we? We got a bond that nobody can break. But I gotta let you go, you understand? Otherwise, they'll catch you. They can find me if they want, but you, you can hide, baby. <laughs> One more thing. Your mind is as vast as all of space. It is. It's a great gift. The world's just not ready for it yet, that's all. I n no more time for goodbyes. You. You gotta go, all right? All right, you listen to me, you run. You run, you run like the wind, you understand? Go! Go! That's it. That's it. Get you a cool drink of water, little fella. I don't know where you came from, but I'm keeping you. I don't know why, but I get the feeling you want me to call you Murphy. Okay, okay, Murphy. Murphy it is, then. You don't have to ever be afraid again, Murphy. Never.
Let's do this. Funny. Come on, this house isn't haunted. Says you. Says my dad. No such thing as ghosts. Yeah? Well, there's been a bunch of strange noises coming from that house for years. It's a real mystery. Really? We've been here a half hour now, and nothing! Jeremy, develop some patience. <sighs> Guys, stop bickering. Let's go inside. I'm not going in. Don't worry, Ricky. That's what the drone's for. I've been practicing a lot at home. I've gotten pretty good at it. Yeah, he's only broken two windows and freaked out the cat. Won't come out of the attic for a week. Can you please stop? Well, he didn't. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but it sounded bad. Maybe we should just get out of here. I'm with Ricky. Me too. Davy, can we do this another time? We came here to solve a mystery. Like Dad, on TV. Right? Everyone with me? Mega views on our YouTube channel. Money, fame. All right, I guess. I'm in. Jenny? You're hosting again? Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, I can't help it. I'm just right for the part. Why don't I host this time? But you're a girl. Ricky, that's not... Girls don't host TV shows. Oh! Why don't you call Kelly Ripper and tell her that? Daytime. Samantha B. Cable. We're talking YouTube here, David. <sighs> okay, fine. You got me. Next time. I promise. Everybody set? Ready. Ready. Wait, my coat. He looks just like Dad. He kind of does. Wow. Slate it. Unresolved mysteries, take one. The supernatural, the mysterious, the unexplained. Do ghostly spirits still inhabit the most darkest and despaired houses? And most foreboding houses? Do ghostly spirits still inhabit our darkest and most foreboding? And most foreboding? Do ghostly spirits still inhabit our darkest and most foreboding houses? This is gonna be awesome. We are in front of the old Conejo Mansion, abandoned for nearly 80 years. It is said to be haunted by the demented soul of its former owner, Ralph Conejo. Ralph Rabbit? Let's get that drone on the air. And cut! It's so cool, I can go almost anywhere. How are you going in? It's kind of puny to ram it through the front door, don't you think? Second floor, broken window. We're in. Let's check downstairs. Good picture, too. I know, right? Looks scary even from out here. Glad I didn't have to go in there for real. What's that? Who's playing the piano? I can't watch this. Dave, turn the drone back, quick. Still don't believe in ghosts, Jeremy? Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. We're committed. You should be committed. Stop, stop. Let's go upstairs, take a look.
good, I'm about good. <laughs> hey, how'd you come up with that alien lobster scream? Fantastic. Years of watching science fiction movies. Oh. I think they'll be back. Would you if you were a kid? Hmm. These masks, all I gotta say is good thinking. Mm -hmm. We had them, we used them. <laughs> and we scored a neato mini drone in the process. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so what now? Well, back to business. Aliens! 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 Isn't it great? They can't have been aliens. Can't have been. No such thing, right? They were aliens. Just like on Dad's show. But that's a TV show, Ricky. What are you saying? Why didn't you tell them about Tooth Fairy while you're at it, Brainiac? Huh? Never mind. So, what now? We go home and check out today's footage. I think we got some really good stuff. I yeah. think Dad's gonna love it. It's just like a program. Entrepreneurs buy cheap shoes, add a free logo, sell it online for a hundred bucks. We make money, the people make the fake logos make money. It's a win win. Nobody gets hurt. Nobody. Come on, let's speed this up. <laughs> what do you think this is? I love Lucy. <laughs> All right, we <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Supernatural, the mysterious, the unexplained. I'm Stephen Hill, and this is Unresolved Mysteries. The time, 5.15 p.m. The date, October 7th. The place, a dusty road in New Mexico nearly six years ago. Dr. Roland Masters speeds along a desert road, fleeing something unknown, something witnesses claim was not of this earth. Masters, a former employee of the Galactitech Research Facility, left his job early that day, but was not missed for over an hour. It's okay, little guy. They're not gonna get you. They may get me, but not you. I'll see to that. According to a former Galactitech employee who was willing to speak to unresolved mysteries under the guise of anonymity, Dr. Masters took with him the super-secret project he had been working on. One local farmer was an eyewitness to what transpired next. I was putting my goats back in the barn. And all of a sudden, these two wild saucers come flaring by the skies. This guy, he was in a car trying to escape, but he finally gave up and pulled off to the side of the road. This is when it got really interesting. Some of these saucers are just floating back, just floating. They're making this noise. Very irritating noise. And then he goes up. This little puppy was there just staring at the whole thing. This was very overwhelming. I, 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 I still don't believe my eyes. It's aliens. Ah. Just exactly what happened on that ominous day may never be known for sure. Why did Dr. Masters suddenly plan his escape? What is the intriguing secret he was so anxious to keep from the world? Goodbye, and keep watching the sky. I 
I don't understand. We all saw the aliens. Now they're not there. It's just static. Did you do something weird, David? I dropped the monitor when we were running away. But wait, maybe I can still get a clear frame or two. There. That's the best I got. It's kind of there, but not really. I see it, Davey. Clear as day. You might see it, but no one's going to believe us on that. My dad will. He solved cases with much less evidence than this. Yeah, you're right, Rick. And he's going to be home a lot more now. Maybe this is our silver lining. Silver lining? Yeah. We haven't told you guys this yet, but Unresolved Mysteries was canceled. Oh, man. I'm sorry. You'll find another show to do. I hope so. <laughs> So what was the source of the mysterious five-tone signal? Will we ever know, or will it remain unresolved? As many of you know, this is our last show. And we wanted to thank you for three years of dedication. From the cast, the crew, goodbye. And keep watching the sky. And cut. Thank you, everybody. It's been mysterious. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Patrick. Thank you, Steven. Oh, thank you very much, brother. Bye. Nice work, Bye. as always. Yeah. Hey, Steve, where would you like me to put this stuff on your trailer? Uh, just put it in the back of my car. It's open, Billy. You got it. Cool, thank you. Thank you, guys, everybody. You've been a... I like you a lot. <laughs> interrupt, sir, but I think we may have gotten a hit. On what? The dog, sir. Was the satellite imaging retained? It's here, in New Mexico. Right here. Let's get our best operative on it now. The chip has been reactivated. Galactic Mission TMA-1. Jack Bowser is in pursuit of female officers. Defending for a closer look and additional surveillance and possible backup. Jack, how many times do I have to tell you don't lose sight of the quarry? 
Technology isn't enough. Thank you, Mrs. McGillicuddy. You can leave now. Thank you, dear. Let me help you. Uh, <gasps> my shoulder or worse I could put that back in get away from me <sighs> Natasha drop everything Crowder wants you I think we may have a problem here Zoe Jack you klutz if you broke my arm what do you mean she broke her arm yes sir and I get Jack Bowser Jeez, some crackers Williams can't do nothing right oh Are you all right? I like it when Dad was on a show. Yeah, but at least you get to see him more. But I like seeing him on TV. Do you think he'll really help us with our case? Yeah, sure. He'll... It's Dad. Dad! Dad's home! Come Ripley, on! wait up! Hi, honey! How's it going? Hey! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Did you have a good day? I did. Oh. How you doing? Okay, eat with your hands. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Wait until your mother sits. Thanks. Honey, mm -hmm. it'll be good for you to spend the summer with the kids. And then you'll just walk into another show next season. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's just these shows, I think their days are done, you know? Honey? Oh, no, no, no. We are going to be fine. We are going to have a great summer. We sure are, Dad. Oh, check this out. What have they been up to? I have no idea. What is this? Look at that. Don't push the button. You're as it's, bad as they are. It's on now. Saw something. It's just like your show, Dad, but like real life. Well, if I learn anything doing my show, it's that extraordinary claims require extraordinary, extraordinary proof. proof. Yeah, well, you did say you dropped it when you ran away. Maybe some like sci fi footage bled in or something. Come on, Dad. Mm, ghost in the machine, son. Ghosts in the machine. There's a ghost in the machine? No, no, no. It's just an expression, Ricky. Look, it's okay. Listen, I'm really, really happy that you guys are figuring things out, that you're looking into things. In fact, I'm proud of you. It shows great instincts. How about this? I'll make you a deal. If you guys give me a day, I promise to go with you to the old Caneo house, and we'll figure this out together. Yeah? OK? OK. OK. All right, guys. Ribs aren't going to eat themselves. Hey, get some food, guys. The dog is back. The dog's back. Dog's back. Dog is back. Dog is back. Dog's back. Doggy. It's not code, Jack. He means Murphy. Oh, which means he can lead us to Masters. Professor Masters. Well done, Jack. But we have him in custody. What? No, no, Jack. Uh, 
Yeah, I saw it on Unresolved Mysteries. No, Jack, no! That's reality TV. It's not real. Not real, Jack. Well, we did have them close, hands up, ready to give up. But? The dog was Galactitech property, and Masters stole him. Now, the GPS chip went off when they left the facility. We dispatched a reacquisition team on a pair of prototype anti-gravity sky sleds. When they finally cornered him, Master set the dog free. Vanished. Not seen for six years. <laughs> sky sleds. That seems like an awful lot of trouble for a runaway Jack Russell. That's no ordinary Jack Russell. Masters altered the dog's brain, giving him human-like thought, even telepathy. That's nonsense. Well, believe what you want. Just get me Masters and get me that dog. On my way. Why'd you break your arm? He broke my arm, sir. Get after him. Try to keep him alive. We need his father's money. Got it. Mm. Anti-gravity sleds? Let's just say they were reverse engineered. From what? I'll let you figure that out. Dad's right. Maybe those space creatures we saw weren't really there. But we saw them. We saw something, but it might be what Dad said. Mind if I take a look? You've seen it a million times, bro. I didn't say that. Well, who did? It was me, Murphy! Whoa, 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 easy, right. kids, easy. Where are you? Show yourself before I call my dad. Yeah, come on out. Slow and easy. Well, that's good, because that's the way I always roll, kids. Now, here I come. No swinging or throwing. No promises. Okay. I'll trust you. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Double whoa. Make that a triple. What's the matter? You guys never met a dog before? Not a talking one. Well, technically, I think at you, kid, but I understand the confusion. But how do you think at us? Uh, now, that's a mystery even I haven't solved yet. I figure we could swap cases. I help you with your crazy aliens, and you can help me find out why I'm the only dog who could do this trick. But dogs do lots of tricks. I don't see Benji or Beethoven doing this one. How'd you get here, Murph? I hitched a ride home with your dad. Are you an alien? Really? Funny you should ask. All I know is one day I was a puppy doing puppy stuff, and the next day I could read Aristotle in the original Greek, thank you. Oh, that feels good. Hey, mind if I take a look at that video? Yeah. Sure. Hmm. Very interesting. What do you think, Murph? Is it a real mystery or just bad video? Well, it's hard to tell. Back at Galactitech, they got some nerd who could freeze the frame and enhance the image. But I'm not going back there, even for you guys. If only I knew someone like that out here. Why didn't I think of this sooner? You're right. He'll figure this out in seconds. Who'll figure this out? The brain! Yeah, he's a genius when it comes to electronic stuff like this. Well, get him over here. It's too late. It's almost dark. But we'll take you to the clubhouse first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's where all of his cool stuff is. OK. Hey, if we're not, you know, sleuthing, any chance I could snag a few scraps from tonight's leftovers? Sure, no problem. Yeah, just wait right here. Should we tell Dad? No way. This is our mystery. We don't need an adult to help us. OK, OK. Are there any ribs left? Plenty! I love these kids! Sir! Sir! Oh. Wake up, sir! Wilson, is that you? I failed to see who else you could possibly be, sir. What time is it? Some ungodly hour, as usual. There's a perfectly good bed in your perfectly good bedroom, sir. Has there been a breach? Uh, no, sir. No breach. We remain secure. Then why did you wake me up? I thought it would be funny. Also, they found your dog. Murph? Where? New Mexico, sir. At the residence of a man named Stephen Hill. <gasps> Oh, now they'll be waiting for me to come and get him, won't they? The probability is they are more interested in the dog than you, sir. Well, I'm gonna go get him anyway. Arrange my transportation. Use the standard misdirection protocol. Uh, pack me a small valise and, oh, remember to get my umbrella. 
Whatever you wish, sir. Oh, Wilson. Where would I be without you? You'd be a complete wreck, sir. Mm. <laughs> Most likely, that's true. I'll fetch the car, sir. Oh, and don't try to engage it in conversation, Wilson. It's just a car. That car has a lot to say if you care to listen. <laughs> Man. Yeah, Sheldon. What gives? Well, I'm trying to get the telemetry from the ISS, but this is what I got. Weird. So let me get this straight. Last night, you two found a talking dog under your bed? Correct. And he agreed to help us with our mystery if we help him with his? Does that about sum it up? That's the deal. Some deal? Go fish. No, no really. really. Then where's the talking dog? Come on, guys. Extraordinary claims required. Extraordinary proof! How's this for extraordinary proof? Hey, kids, what's the plan? I love a good plan. This seems highly unlikely. Unlikely? You're making this seem possible. Hey, nothing's impossible, kids. He's a dog, and he's talking. And he's a dog, and he's talking. Technically, he's thinking, but we understand your confusion. Right, Murph? That's right, Rick. This fits no established mode of terrestrial reality. I need to Shut it down, Shelton. You're drowning us in your words. Don't let her get to you, bro. It's good to be smart. So what's the deal, Pooch? I wish I knew, Blondie. That's why I need you guys to help me solve the mystery of why I can do what I can do. And in return, I'll get the alien puzzle unraveled before the sun goes down. What do you say? I'm down. Me too. I guess we can't say no. And after all, you are talking. Thinking! And besides, you're cute. Oh shucks. Thanks, Jen. I haven't had this much love and affection in a dog's age. Hey, Frank, are you able to enhance that image? Best I can do in short notice. What do you think, Murph? Frankly, I think someone's got to go in that house and find exactly what's going on. My parents will ground me if they find I went inside. Never mind my parents. I'm not going in because I'm sane. OK, here's the plan. You guys can wait outside, and I'll go in. Are you sure, Murph? Yeah, it could be dangerous. Danger is my middle name. Actually, it's my dad's middle name. Cautious is my middle name. What have I got myself into? Fascinating. Well, how are we looking? We're fine. For a month? No, for the summer at least. No, I just, people, they think you're on TV and you got it made for life. Sweetie, I really don't want you getting depressed. It's not about the money. I mean, I know we need the money and everything, but I just... I like TV, you know? Hmm. And TV likes you. Yeah, for three years. Uh, should I get you a tissue? <laughs> no, okay, okay, I'm sorry. It's just I liked telling stories and solving mysteries, entertaining people. Yeah. And the boys were proud of me. Baby, the boys will always be proud of you. Thanks, hon. All right. Oh. Yeah, can I, uh, help? You're rolling masters. I did a show about you. Yeah, I'm a fan of your show. <laughs> of course, it wasn't really accurate, was it? I mean, those crop formations, it's uh, not what you think. Well, I, it's TV, so... Yeah, right. You, uh, mind if I come in? Yeah, no, please, yes. Y yes. <laughs> well, here. Uh, no 
Nope. Sorry. Yeah, me neither. But I think the kids might have. What? Well, last night's rib leftovers were under Ricky's bed. There was a water dish under there, too. <laughs> and when were you going to tell me this one? Well, you know how we had been talking about getting the kids a dog? Mm hmm I was just waiting for the right moment to tell you that maybe they'd already, you know, adopted one. I, I'm confused, though. Why is it your dog? I mean, why is Murphy here? Well, I didn't know he was here. His uh, recently reactivated GPS chip told me he was here. It actually told Galactitech he was here, and then uh, Wilson, my robot, told me. Wilson, his robot. I'm gonna go fetch the kids. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'm on the freeway now. I know you're on the freeway, Jack. Our eye in the sky is following you. Yeah, I'm heading west towards... Towards exit 24, Jack, in the school. I know. Okay, we're gonna need to talk about what you're gonna do there. What I'm gonna do? You're gathering intel. Right. About? About the children, Jack. Children? What about children? I thought it was after a dog, specifically a Jack Russell. Terrier! Yes, Jack, I know. Please, just listen to me. Try to stay on point, okay? You know... You mentioned something about children. What if I go check out the elementary school, hmm? You're on your way to the school now. Exit 24. Can't talk right now. The magazine exit 24 right now. Principal Callahan's office. This is Marie down in maintenance. Put him on, put him on. I'm sorry, you'll have to call back. He's on the other line, and he has someone from Galactic Tech Security waiting. All right, all right, but you tell him the evac pipes are clogging up again, and it's getting bad down here. Will do. Listen, Sonny, don't be so cavalier about this. If they blow, it's not going to be pretty, let me tell you. I'll tell him, I'll tell him. You do that. OK, you did two things wrong. What? One is you asked a question, and two, you asked another question. But what if, what if I... Listen, son, you better get that term paper in, or you won't believe what happens next, even while it's happening. Okay, okay, I'll get it done. I promise, I promise. I'll see you at school next week. Yeah. Bye. So let me get this straight. You're from the Galactic Tech people, and you expect me to fall in line and answer your questions? It's uh, Galactic Tech. One word. You messing with me now? Don't get drawn in, Jack. Let's reset, sir. I'm just here to ask about the Hill Boys. Well, they're exemplary students, not troublemakers. What's your interest in the Hill family? What's my interest in the Hill family? Mom's a real American sweetheart. She makes chocolate chip cookies for the PTA meeting. Really? No. Not really. I make the cookies, and I use shortening and not butter and semi-sweet chocolate chips. How's that for your gender stereotyping? Natasha. What? You got a tick. What you got in there? You run a scam on me, you glass-jawed punk. <sighs> no, sir. You ever met one of those guys you shouldn't have messed with? Well, I'm that guy. Listen, you ever come back here giving me the third degree about my kids? It's gonna get real ugly, real fast. I think we're done here, Jack. Principal Callahan's office. Get my brother on the phone. Principal Callahan, I have your brother Harry from Frisco on line three. <laughs> Tell him, make my day. Hello, Inspector. Um, he is unavailable, but his message was to make his... I know, I know. Make my day. Our mother always said that when we were in deep straits with her. You still here? He seemed hostile. You think? Listen, I just got a new reading from the chip. Murphy's about two miles from the school. I'll need an exact fix. Just get in the car, Jack. I'll get you there. Copy that. It's our pipes. They're old and they need replacing. 
Your boss, he's tough, real tough. Should meet his brother, Harry. Harry Callahan, from Frisco. <laughs> Gotta love it. I don't know about this. I don't know. Well, there it is. Yep, there it is. Yes, indeed, there it most certainly is. So you going in, Mer? Now that I see it in person, it looks kind of scary. I thought Danger was your middle name. Chickening out? Murphy doesn't chicken out. I'm no scaredy cat, but I'm occasionally an apprehensive dog. But you said you'd... All right, all right, I'll do it. But remember the plan. If you hear me start to scream, who are you gonna call? We know who to call, Murph. Okay, this is me, heading over to the haunted house, which I know in my mind isn't really haunted. At least I hope not. Besides, it's me, Murphy the Wonder Dog, and I ain't afraid of no ghosts! Are you gonna answer it? It's Dad. Don't answer it. Well, it doesn't look like there's any way into the spooky place. Too bad. Oh, except for that hole in the wall. Darn it! Gotta stick to the plan. Let's go. I hope he'll be all right. He'll be fine. Don't worry, Ricky. Dogs are faster than ghosts. How do you know? Never watch Scooby-Doo. Well, I watched your husband's show. You know, he's, he's pretty good. Yeah. How is it that a real-life cop winds up being a host on a TV show? Well, he was involved in solving an alien abduction hoax, and it was actually pretty high profile. So he did a bunch of TV interviews, and some high muckamuck in Hollywood saw them and thought that he was going to be a good fit, you know? Ah. Just one question, though. How sure are you that it was a hoax? Well, I, I, <laughs> well, I, I mean, what? Excuse me. Phone call. Ah, <laughs> it's Wilson, my robot. Yeah, Wilson. I have an update. The dog is less than a quarter mile from your current position. All right, just send me the directions. Already done. You do know that your attitude is literally adjustable, don't you? If you're going to talk to me that way, well, I'd have to go get my dog. Uh-huh. Are you in trouble? Hmm? Are my kids going to be safe? Look, Murphy is a very smart dog, Mrs. Hill. And if he's with your kids, they're going to be perfectly safe. Thanks for the coffee. <sighs> Well, these kids are gonna get me in big trouble. But big trouble is my mom's middle name. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's just a noise. A noise from down there. From the basement. From the creepy, crawly, ultra-dark, spider-filled, bat-infested basement! No fear. No fear. No fear. David, Ricky, you guys up there? Did I hear Mr. Hill? Oh, hey, Shelton. I figured that they would have been here. Do you know where they are? Um... Come on, that's a pretty easy question for a smart kid like you. They didn't want me to say. Hmm. Let me take a wild guess. Are they at the old Caneo house? I appreciate your candor. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, Sheldon, let me ask you another question. How the heck do you get Wi-Fi all the way out here in the middle of nowhere? Who, me? That's what I thought. Tell no, Ricky and David I'm looking for him if you see him. Yes, Mr. Hill. Man, they gonna get it. What's all that racket? Hey, wait a minute. Ghosts don't operate machinery. Maybe I should wait till their lunch break. Wait just a cotton-picking, ghost-breaking minute. That doesn't reek of ectoplasm. That smells like Robex. It's been a while now, hasn't it? 
Yeah, I hope he'll be all right. Should we go in and check on him? Give him a few more minutes, and then we'll all go take a look. Can't wait, creepy aliens, talking dog. Uh, no evil spirits in this dump. Hey, thanks for picking up the drinks, buddy. Came in handy. It's just a couple of clowns. Better than coffee, pal. And I really feel like it's given me the extra energy boost we needed. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. It just felt right. So does this tasty beverage. Wait a minute. They're putting on an act, scaring everybody away. Arr, arr. Hey, some mangy muck got in here. Let's get him before his owner comes looking for him. Ow! Slapstick potential. <laughs> oh, I can't watch. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a ghost? Get a grip. I know it's a haunted house, but we're looking for aliens here. That wasn't so bad. Says you get jerk. Let's get him. Come on. Come on, let's get him. Someone's coming. Jack Bowser, private security operative. That sounds ludicrous. It does, Jack. Could you once let me do this without yakking in my ear? Who's in your ear? The most annoying person in the world. Now I'm taking this dog. Any problem with that? You're not here for us? You? No. So then we're free to go? I could stay here if you want, but I wouldn't. Central over there. Come on, let's go down there. Maybe they can tell us what happened. I look forward to our Amber Alerts. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Man, you're a tough little guy to get a hold of. They've been looking for you for six years. Hey, you hungry? Thirsty? He's talking to the dog? <laughs> Should have brought some bacon. You know what? There's a strip mall a couple of miles up. What do you say I stop and get you some water, huh? Some big spender you are. How about a mochaccino cappuccino extra syrup latte? Ah! <laughs> you're, you're thinking at me. That's cool. Wow, you're the first one to get that right. And now he thinks it's answering. Oh, boy. Ah! Hey, you must be really smart. I <laughs> like you. <laughs> I like you too, buddy. So you're the owner of Murphy. That I am. And I'm afraid he's in the clutches of the Galactitech Corporation now. I mean, he's cute and all, but what a multinational research and technology conglomerate. What with the dog? Cute or not? You getting this? Not a word. They don't want Murphy. 
They want his brain. Oh. Uh-oh. I think you better explain. Well, you've heard stories of downed UFOs and flying saucers are crashed and wound up in Area 51, right? Well, none of that was true. <laughs> I thought so. See, the Galactitech Corporation had a contract on all that alien stuff decades ago. Area 51? That was just a cover-up. Oh. We worked the Roswell remains, reverse engineering everything from alien microtechnology to complex chemical and biological interfaces. The aliens had created living computers. I knew it! Shh! He's flashbacking. And we knew that amazing information, the secrets of the universe, of life itself, were, were all locked inside this bizarre biotech computer. But all we had were rudimentary means to communicate. But then, I found an inert gene from an alien DNA matrix. So, what'd you do with it? Well, I did what anyone would do. Implanted it into a puppy. Ew! Say what now? Sounds kind of Frankenstein-y, doesn't it? And maybe just a little bit nuts. But, it worked. And this... This little dog was suddenly blessed with the supernatural intelligence that... Well, that... Even exceeded my expectations. It took a smart dog to outfox us. But when the CEO, Crowder, got wind of what I did, oh, he smelled money. And I couldn't bear to think of what they might do to Murphy inside those labs of his. So I took him. Well, that is quite a story, Doctor. Dad, how long have you been here? Long enough. David Ricky, what did I tell you about coming out here alone? Run along home. Uh, okay, Dad. Okay, when we walk by the old guy, make a diversion. What? Distract him or do something cute. Why? Just do it. I liked your story, mister. Well, thanks, pal. That means a lot. Jeremy? Jenny? You too. Uh, yes, Mr. Hill. <gasps> and who are you two? Uh, we're realtors. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking about uh, fixing the place up and flipping it. Flipping it. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, I wish you luck. And as for you, Doctor. Oh, where'd he go? Whoa, he was right there. Hey, you look familiar. I've seen you somewhere before. Detective Stephen Hill. Detective? Hey, you're that guy on TV, right? The guy, the guy with all those crazy mysteries. That's me. <laughs> Hey, do you think uh, anything the doc said was legit? I don't know. That's why we call them unresolved. Because it's unresolved. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you think he means, dummy? He means it's not resolved. Not resolved. Right. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Hey, uh -huh. nice meeting you. Oh. Guys on TV. Just... And that's how it all went down, I swear. It was the scariest night of my life. And that includes that hamburger incident in Barstow. But I digress. Anyway, this old man found me as soon as Dr. Masters left. I was so lucky. Gotcha. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Those flying machines buzzing around all the time. Fella, you're shaking like a leaf. He took me to his cabin in the woods, not far from here. And I was under their noses the whole time. But the old man knew his stuff. Maybe he'd even worked for Galactic Tech at one time, or something. Anyway, he knew how to block my GPS signal. And then, one day, he just stopped coming home. And I was all alone. You're gonna lock me up, aren't you? Look, man, it's not me. It, I was assigned to find a dog. I, mean, I didn't realize the dog was gonna turn out to be such a great guy. Well, thanks for that. Jack's here with the dog, sir. I think he may need a vacation, sir. He's talking to the dog, and he thinks the dog is talking back to him. 
I need the dog back in the lab. Don't let anything go wrong. Was the talking dog not news to you? What you looking for? I'll tell you when I find it. Can I help? I know exactly where it is. Where what is? This. What's that? Well, it's an old telephone called a landline. Why? Who knows? But if you plug it into the wall, it works just like your cell. How do you know that? I saw it in an old movie. Why don't you just use your cell? Because I dropped it in the doctor's pocket right before Dad sent us home today. Dad's not going to like this. Trust me, it will work. Hello? Hello, doctor. This is David Hill. David, you know, this isn't my phone. Yeah, I hid it in your jacket. What would make you do something like that? Because the gang and I are going to help you get your dog back. No, no, hold on, David. That would be very unwise. Yeah, that's why we called you. Because since you worked at Galacticek for such a long time, maybe you could help us get on the base without setting off any of the alarms. Hold on, let me think. Why not? All right, all right. Uh, I think I have a plan. Great. We start tomorrow. What a day. You think we have to worry about those kids? Nah, they'd never sell us out. No, but I might. What are you doing here? Well, I was hoping to ask a small favor of you two, gentlemen. What do you mean by favor? It's the kind of favor that allow you to keep your uh, illicit business flourishing, as well as helping me get back my dog. Do we have a choice? Mm, not if you want to keep selling these... These silly sneakers. Hey, what do you mean by... What do we have to do? Well, I need a couple of aliens, and, uh... Well, I'd say you boys fit that bill. Masters is sitting safe and sound back at the clubhouse while we're out here risking our necks. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, shh, quiet. That's him. Hello? Status. Status? <laughs> Check this guy out. He thinks he's on an episode of 24. <laughs> we look more like we're from the Outer Limits. <laughs> Status. Quo. <laughs> well, how are the kids? Oh, oh, the kids? Yeah, uh, they're fine. Not a peep out of them. I remember what I told you to say when you get to that gate. Yeah, I remember. Hey, what do you think? You're dealing with a couple idiots here? Hello? Hello? Got him! Just southwest of Rock Ditch. Heading towards Chainsaw. I think we're slowing down. Yeah, this could be it. Everyone ready? I'm like lunch meat. I'm always ready. Lunch meat's gross. You're gross. Stop bickering! Hey, that's my line. And I didn't understand it then either. Shh. We're stopping. What have we got here? Roswell's about a hundred miles that way. <laughs> Funny. We're here for Dr. Subaru's birthday. You don't seem to be on our list. You don't have a list. Well, call him up. They've been planning this thing for weeks. Joe, call Lab 7, see if Subaru's throwing a party today. You got a... X-143 going on up there? We got a pair of rental crabs there at the gate. They say they're here for Subron's party. We got a pair of rental crabs there at the gate. They say they're here for Subron's party. party. 
Watch this. As a formative, as a formative confirmation, party on schedule at 1430. It's okay. Subaran's party starts in 15 minutes. Well, it looks like you guys are clear to go. You know where you're going? Lab 7. <laughs> Lab 7. <laughs> hey, no sightseeing. Tell birthday boy to bring down some cake. Will do. I'm watching you. Alien clans. I don't like crabs. All shores come to shore. Okay, Doc, we're over by Lab 7. What now? Well, now, it's, um, it's an educated guess. Educated guess? No, a highly educated guess. They're gonna have Murphy in quarantine in a small room on the other side of the lab. Now, you're not gonna have access to that, so you're gonna have to walk through Lab 7 to get there. So how do we get in there? Once you find the access door, just punch in the code that I gave you last night, remember? Oh, yeah, just like that, huh? Four kids and a couple of nut job aliens just saunter in real easy. Look, look, people are used to seeing weird things around that place, okay? Just, just stay calm and walk quickly. You mean run? No, 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 do not run. Just, just don't stop to gawk at anything, okay? All right, got it. Okay, uh, stick together, keep your eyes forward and no talking. Right. This is kind of cool. It's just like one of Dad's shows. Whatever. Do all of you have to have the last word? Wait. Does anybody need to go to the bathroom? Not you. All right, follow us and try not to look like kids. Come on. How are we going to do that? Attitude, Ricky. Attitude. I bet you she's real fun on a camping trip. Okay. Hey, my canine intuition tells me there's a rescue attempt in the making. Say is whoa. Double whoa. Making a triple. No one's ever gonna believe us. This is like the room we always wanted. It's the kids. I know it. Come on, guys. You can do it. Do you hear talking? Do you think they're talking about us? Wouldn't you? Yeah, because to them, we're the aliens. I don't care what they're saying about us. Come on. We have to find that dog. Right, because I'm boiling in this costume. I think they're getting close. Ah! 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 
He's over there. Hey, did you see a giant crab man just now? There's a couple of guards between us and the lab. They don't look as dumb as the ones up at the gate. That was some plan your pal the doc had, kids. We should bail. Yeah. We can't get Murphy. You ready to do something good for a change, pal? All right, Freddie and I are going to distract the guards, get them away from their posts. And if the guards take the bait, you kids run in there as fast as you can and get the mud. Get out of there. How do we get away? We can't drive. Oh, yeah. Uh, make your way to the truck. We'll meet you there. Why should we trust you? Give us a chance, kid. All right. One, three. Three. Take oh. us to your leader. We're here to subdue your world. Yes, Earth shall be ours. <laughs> I was again. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? This is a secure area. We don't care. We are invaders from Mars. OK, wait a minute. Let's see your badges. Uh, our badges? Oh, we must have left those in our other alien costumes. The ones with the pockets. Oh, right. That's it, wise guy. Here, now. Uh... No. Hey, they're getting away. Hit the low button now. Get up. Murphy. <laughs> guys were coming. Is a doc with you? No, but we're taking you to him as soon as possible. I need something to hide you in. What's he doing? I get it. Great. This will have to do. A backpack. Are we going to college? Oh, no. A security alarm just went off at Glatz attack. How do you know this? Because I hacked your system. Oh. I think the NSA is going to want to have a talk with you, son. I can find out. No, no. <laughs> Not needed, kid. All security doors are now closed. They're not here. Nice plan, minus the getaway. Don't worry, I know how to get out of here. Care to share, smart guy? What do you got lined up? Tell me you got a limo. Not really. Taxi? Nope. Look, I'll settle for a rickshaw, but that's as low as I go. None of the above. We're going sky surfing. Sky surfing! You mean like surfing on nothing? Yeah, it's the only way to get you out of here, Murph. Come on, follow me. I don't think I'm down with surfing on nothing. Hey, guys, wait, hey, wait, let's talk about this. Stop! Stop! All right, come on, get in there! Get in there, both of you! Look at you two crabs! Ha-ha! <laughs> Want some sushi? I'm just joking with them! They gotta got the claws like that! Hey! Something smells fishy! Tell you think! It smells fishy! Okay. We'll leave these two guys to the octopuses. All right? Don't clam up! You hear what I did there? I said clam. I said clam up. Looks like the kids swiped a dog. Yeah, but how are they going to get out of this dystopian nightmare? Dystopian nightmare? Don't oversell it, buddy. That's our way out. Do you think we can fly them? We're going to have to. Is that the only option? How about a plan B? We don't have time, Murph. Do you want to see Doc Masters again? Uh, is that a trick question? And do we have flight insurance? Galactic is now in lockdown. What's going on? They got the dog. What? How? Forget it. Just get it back. Flag activated, ready for command. I just need this thing to fly. 
Affirmative. Prepare for liftoff. Oh boy, oh boy, it's working! Ready for motion direction. Forward! Forward. Manual control. I guess we're doing this! That's easy for you! You're not looking down! Prepare for liftoff. Whoa! 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 This thing has a mind of its own! Warning. Approaching closed sky door from the southwest. Uh oh. It is now quite close. Who's got the garage opener? Watch out, David! Watch the wall! Well, what do I do? What do I do? Why are you asking me? I'm a dog! Whoa, 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 whoa! Warning. 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 Collision imminent. Open door! Affirmative opening sky door. Dogs have nine lives, right? your arm. You can't drive. Just don't kill us. Us? Just go! Watch this, guys! Show off! No, you don't, Ricky! Will that kid ever stop screaming? I took an online tutorial. What do you think? Come on, go faster! I'm going faster. Stop backseat driving. This thing was only built for one person. Activating extreme capture beam in 10, 9. Warning capture beam locked on. Suggesting tactic defensive number one and hurry. Um, distractive tactic number one! Five, four, two. Malfunction. Malfunction. Malfunction.
Nice work, kid. Nice work. Thank you. Full speed ahead! Those kids are pretty smart. I'm gonna hang back. We'll catch up with them on the ground. It's them. Doc! Doc, it's you! Doc! Oh, I knew you'd yeah, come in for me! Yeah. Doc! Oh, I missed you, oh, baby. I missed you. Remember this? Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Can we go home now? Neither of you are going anywhere. Well, why not? I can hear him. In my head? Your girlfriend's a little late to the party, Jack. Well, what do you mean, girlfriend? Uh, professor, you both have to come back with us. Sorry. Not so fast. Stephen Hill? I love your show. Thanks, but it's been canceled. Oh. However, I know a lot of people in the media who would still pay attention to me, especially if I deliver them a good story about how a great big corporation treats people and dogs poorly. Masters and Murphy are like family, and Galactitech is tearing them apart. I don't make company policy. I'm sorry. And I don't tear families apart. But we have to write a report, right? We would. If we'd found the dog. Yeah, it's too bad. It's a shame we didn't find the dog. She's kind of a softy underneath that tough spite chick look, Jack. Oh, no, she's she's really tough, too. She's it's not just a look, but, but but I like it. I, I like it. Um, don't go spreading this around, but uh, I like you, too, Jack. <laughs> Take it easy, Murph. See you later, Professor. Goodbye, Jack. You've been a good guy. Well, all right, it's time to say goodbye, guys. Say goodbye to him. Bye, Murph. Wish you could stay longer. It's like we just met you, and I have to leave again. Oh, uh, kids, I'm going to miss you, too. So long. You're the greatest. Wish I could have a dog just like you. I can't think of a single wisecrack. I'm going to miss you, Murph. You kids will always be my heroes. I'll keep you in my heart forever. Bye, guys. Goodbye, Murphy. I know, goodbyes are a little bittersweet. But David and Ricky are clever boys, and they wrote a better ending. And here it is. Unresolved Mysteries, take one. Those lovable little tykes pressed on with their show. They got Dad to host it, even got Mom involved. And you know, somehow, it all actually worked. Their show started getting viewers in the hundreds, in the thousands, in the millions. It went viral. And suddenly, the Hill family and their internet show were the talk of the town. It could have been the haunted houses, or the aliens, or the crop circles, but you know what I think it was? I think it was love. With the family working together, the show blossomed into something beautiful. They'd always had the mysteries, but now they had the magic. Now I know it's true. No good deed goes unpunished. Yeah, well, I'm still glad we did it. <laughs>
If you can believe this, there was a million dollar reward. You guys can pick it up at the cashiers. Now, come on, let's get out of here. This is my office, and you're sticking it up to high heaven. Let's go. Come on, move it. Move it. Let's get out of here. Come on. Crappy. I hate crappy.